You could say that mediating the process digitally means that um, you skip a lot of intuitive steps that could happen along the way. But uh, I say screw those steps, I don't have the time for them. I don't really believe in rules at all, but I sort of put this little rule in there that there was going to be no drawing at all. When you make clothing for a long enough time, you get to a point where you can really just see the entire garment in your head. And so you're not just pre-designing, you're pre-making. You can see every seam, every form, every structure, and there's, it's not very interesting. Once you've had the idea, it's just work from that point on. So I really haven't enjoyed making clothing for a very long time. Intuition is something that just happens. There's nothing intuitive about pre-designing the clothing. So this time what I wanted to do is approach it from uh, old school drapery. Because you know, I really love old school women's drapery. So we built a small scale model and uh, we basically just drape directly onto the form and use a live action video camera and a projector to project it onto the wall so we could see pretty much what we were doing real time, what it would look like in full size. The really nice thing about working on the half scale mannequin is that you don't really have a lot of room to move. You have like about you know, 50 centimetres of body and leg and shoulder and neck. And it really minimises the amount of detail and overthought that you can put into something. One of my weaknesses, one of my terrible weaknesses is, is over-designing clothing. And this really was a good solution to uh, keep me in check. Once we get to something that we like, we we mark the pattern up, and we put it down, we lay it out on paper, check on the measurements so you can see that it's you know, a real pattern. We take it to a large format scanner and scan it in. We import it into Illustrator and we, we vectorize the pattern by hand, and then we export that to the laser cutter. Safety's on. We cut it out and we take it back to the, uh, to the small scale mannequin and we check that it's all correct. Uh, that, that basically what we were doing initially with the small scale draping is the same thing as what comes out of the laser cutter. If it's correct, then that's great. We go and double the scale of the pattern and cut it out once more in full size. We put it on a mannequin, pin it together, and start to see where all of the, um, you know, the inconsistencies and well, the consistencies, but also really where where the mistakes are. Because when you get to the bigger size and you see these like little accidental mistakes, it gives you all this other room to move and create something different. When you go to the full scale size, there are things that don't work and you can use those to take it further. I'll refill this one too, yeah, have we? A large scale garment is, you know, the same sort of thing, but it works on the body. The really great thing about working with this technique is that it completely speeds up the process in such a way that you're not marking a pattern onto the fabric, cutting it by hand again and again each time you have to check something or alter a pattern it's just like out of the laser cutter and it is really precise so it speeds up what we're doing massively as well as um, multiplying the precision listen i mean it's designed it's not it's not working on a chain gang you don't need to smack rocks with a hammer to feel like you have a fulfilled day's work pressing a button is okay the robot's not designing for you, it's just helping you do it faster. <laughs>